Minister Mduduzi Manana says there is a deliberate attempt to collapse higher education. Manana maintains that the torching and vandalism of university property are nothing but acts of criminality. He said this in a meeting with management at the Northwest University in Mahiking following violent protests at the campus. The campus remains closed, this following the clashes between students and campus security. The university says the damage will run into the millions and it will take at least a month to resume classes at the campus. Well, let's cross now uh, to our reporter, Selo Tatai. He joins us on the line uh, from Mahi King. Selo, good afternoon to you. Uh, you've just come out of that press briefing with the Deputy Minister. So intervention is really what's happening here. What's the Minister's stance? Well, interesting statement Natasha made by the Deputy Minister of Higher Education, Mtuduzi Manana, saying that uh, to a large extent, these are uh, acts of criminality, even though there are genuine concerns that have been raised by students, it seems like there is a force which has hijacked this general consent for their own political interest and political ends, saying that even though they have been sympathizing with students to remember that during the Peace Must Fall campaign, the government uh, came in to intervene and availed money to see to it that some of the shortfalls that universities have been experiencing, particularly with financial aid, are mad. But what is he's, what he's, he's saying is that to, to a large extent, each and every time government responds to issues relating to higher education, there seems to be other issues emerging and there are no timelines that uh, universities are being given by protesting students or forces that he alluded to. Mm. So to a large extent, he's saying that uh, it can't be correct that universities are being run ungovernable by these forces. Okay, so Selo then, it seems that there really seems to be uh, two sides to this, one being what's been termed as those outside influences and one being campus security. So those are the things that university executives will have to now look into. Indeed, indeed, Natasha. When we spoke to the vice chancellor of uh, the Northwest University, Professor Kwadi, he told us that the university will run its investigation to see to it that Whatever that has happened here is exposed and there is closure, given that there were some students who were shot, uh, apparently with live ammunition, and have been admitted in various hospitals here in the provincial capital. But what the Vice Chancellor said, again, was that uh, they are going to meet with parents and students so that uh, whatever that has transpired here doesn't happen again. Whatever that has happened here is being averted in the, in the long run or, or in, in the near future. And saying that uh, it will, give, it will uh, uh, take them at least a month uh, to see to it that academic activities uh, uh, start here at this Basic campus. All right, Selo, thank you very much. Uh, we will have to leave it there. That's our reporter, Selo Tatai, uh, reporting on the Northwest University's Mahikeng campus.